Welcome back to the show. It is season eight. It is hard to believe season eight of Ottawa Experts with Barbara Balfour back again. It premieres on March the 2nd right here on Rogers TV. And we are joined by its host, Barbara Balfour. Barbara, welcome to the show. And let's talk about, first of all, the, the focus of the show. What's the intent of the show, Barbara? Well, especially these days, we live in such turbulent, crazy, unpredictable times where everything we thought we knew about human nature has been challenged. And so it's essential now more than ever to have a sense of normalcy, to feel grounded and to focus on the things that matter. And that's the relationships with the people around us. Um, Ottawa Experts brings in a panel of local and sometimes national or international experts to comment on a range of um, important and evergreen topics. And they can range uh, from making friends as an adult to how to set boundaries, to how to heal from um, inherited family trauma. Um, and it really focuses on the how. I always tell my guests that the how is probably even more important than the what or the when or the where. And that's because you can get advice from a lot of different places, but if you don't focus on how to get there, how to change your life or how to find happiness, it can kind of fall flat. So for example, if someone says they have a dream and your advice to them is, if you have a dream, you should just go for it. It doesn't really address some of the systemic <laughs> realities for why it may not be possible to pursue that dream. Um, and maybe some of the baby steps that they need to take to get there. Yeah, I think you make a great point too, Barbara. Sometimes people just throw that out there like it is some piece of great advice and you you kind of just leave the person searching. Um, so I, I love the way that that you you focus on things like that. Um, maybe talk about a, a little bit about the the way the show has evolved. Has it has it changed at all the focus and intent of the show over eight years? Well, when the show began, when I started hosting it, there were two hosts. I co-hosted the show, and it was over the last few years that I became the only host. Probably the biggest change occurred during COVID, which is when we moved from being a live call-in show where viewers would call in to ask questions from our guests to now we are taped and we are all logging on online just like we're, we're doing now. And so the interactive aspect of it um, is not there the way it used to be, but it's also opened up a lot of possibilities in terms of guests tuning in from all over the world. We've had people tuning in from as far away as New Zealand, and they will wake up wow. in the middle of the night to join the conversation. And it's, it's very humbling to see someone up and ready to go at four o'clock in the morning, let me tell you. No kidding. <laughs> that's, that, that's a, a little piece of motivation for people out there. Uh, you know, we, we talked about the focus and intent. You mentioned some of those topics. What about some of the interesting guests that, that you're going to have in, in season eight? Well, we uh, we've got six shows, um, and we're starting uh, we're starting March second every Wednesday at eight p.m. And I'm really excited about the topics. Um, some of the topics that I'm most excited about include how to make friends as an adult, how to keep those friends, and how to make powerful yet tiny connections. And we're joined by a super connector. Her name is Jen Nash. She's actually written a book about the subject. She's from Ottawa, but she's a bit of a digital nomad, and she really goes into some tangible take ways like how do you start a conversation with a stranger how do you go to a party where you don't know anyone and work the room without feeling awkward and uncomfortable how do you ask someone on a friend date without feeling awkward um, and and of course my favorite is how do you exit a conversation gracefully you know when you get stuck at, in the corner with someone at a cocktail party and you don't know how to get away so that's really great and of course we're also joined by a therapist who's also a friendship expert and she really does a deep dive into some of the intricacies of friendships and what happens when a friendship dies. We, we don't really know as a society how to mourn the loss of a friendship still. Yeah. Um, another topic that I'm really excited about is how to use the healing power of music to fight depression and addiction. And we're joined by a Juno-nominated uh, musician, M. Greiner, who actually used to tour with David Bowie. And she also helped make the first uh, music video in outer space. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, amazing topics. Uh, Barbara, congratulations. I mean, as I said, it's hard to believe eight years have, have gone by. You've done such a wonderful job. I want to remind everybody, season eight premieres on March the 2nd. You can tune in each and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. And Barbara's always looking for great stories, interesting people, so you can connect with her online. You just have to look her up. Balfour, by the way, spelled B-A-L-F-O-U-R. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.